Okay, Shalom, 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 Kwame Yasha Allah, Koholim La Yahweh Basim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekaha Kodash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to all the Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yachanan Awaf just coming at you with another quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And um, Fair Use Act, I um, just want to, you know, say that I'm not making any monetary value off of this video. Just want to use it for uh, educational purposes only. So, came across this video with this young lady right here. Video was put up four weeks ago. Has about 50 or so, 51,000 um, views so far. Um, and this, this lady right here, you know, she's... You know, pretty much a a, 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 a stay-at-home mom. I think she's been married to this guy for seven years. And hey, she wants to get up and boogie. She wants to get up and leave. She wants a career. She wants to, you know, do all these things. And, you know, just a perfect example as, as um, you know, how America is. The Western lifestyle, you know. And she's actually, <laughs> you know, using God in her wordplay, you know, as if the Lord is with this shit. Anyway, though, I don't even know where to begin because they have a um, before and after, right? So they have this video right here where she's basically doing what, you know, saying what she's saying, crying and shit. And then they have a video um, within it from, I think, maybe a year or so later, two years or so later almost. And, um, you know, kind of going off into, you know, her, I guess what was going on, whatever, whatever. And, you know, it, it's so many things that I got out of this, but Overall, I can see why, you know, the apostles always say, hey, look, man, just <laughs> chill, man. Don't don't get married on paperwork with to, to, to none of these these so-called black women here in America because it's through, man. It doesn't benefit anything. All that old happy, happy, joy, joy for a couple of days, you know, a month, year, two years. And, 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 and you know, once you catch feelings about something or whatever the case may be, it's, it's a wrap, man. Now you you headed back and forth to court. You know, paying lawyers and all this other stuff, man. You got kids. Ah, oh, it's just a bunch of, uh, it's just a, a lot of work and no reward, man. Anyway, I don't even know where to begin in the video, so let me just back it up. Let's just, let's just play it from the very beginning and see, um, get into it a little bit. So let's let's play it. All right, guys, we gotta talk about this interesting story from this modern woman who pretty much is going to be describing why. Leaving her husband of seven years is the best decision. Now, keep in mind, she has three young children. Okay, she'd rather be out here on the single dating market versus being married and being with the child's father. Okay, now, in my opinion, if a man hasn't cheated on you and put hands and feet on you, everything else should be water under the bridge. Okay, you should be able to find a resolution, problem solve, and try to come up with something where... And so let me say something about what he just said as far as, you know, cheating. That's not a thing with guys, man. You know what I'm saying? Like in this Western society, the so-called white man is told everybody that you're supposed to have one woman. And that's that. That's not biblical, man. That's not biblical. Even the 12 tribes of Israel come from four different women, man. You know, um, all through the scriptures, there were uh, mighty men with multiple women, multiple wives, uh, King Solomon had 700 wives, 300 concubines. It's all through the scriptures. So now if a man, he's saying cheating, that's an American way of, you know, if you're stepping out on your woman, you know. But adultery is when a man sleeps with another man's woman. If that woman is single, he can he can deal with her and another woman. You know what I'm saying? Long as that woman is single, any woman that he comes across, I don't give a fuck if it's 100 of them. Any woman that he comes across and she's single, he can deal with her if she's willing to deal like that. It just is what it is, man. That's the scriptures. But, you know, you got these. And these people will tell you they're Christians. They'll tell you straight up and down, I love the law. But when it comes to certain scriptures coming out, they can't handle it. They can't handle it. It's just like on what um, Elder Malcolm would say. You know, everybody's a Christian until the scriptures come out. They can't handle that. Oh, that was Old Testament. Oh, that was in the old days. Oh, that well, well, the Lord hasn't changed. But now, if, if a woman has a husband, because what she's basically about to do is, you know, leaving her husband like that, she's about to become an adulterer. 
And the man that she's about to deal with is about to, um, it, it will become an adulterer as well. She's going to be an adulteress and he's going to be an adulterer by her leaving her husband like that. And it's not going to go well. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it doesn't. And a lot of people don't be realizing like why they be having the problems that they have when they do shit like this. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of clear that up because he's, you know, if he's, you know, he, he says if he's not cheating on you and not putting hands and feet on you, you know what I'm saying? But that cheating, we got to clear that up. There's no such thing as a man cheating on a woman if he's dealing with another woman, if she's not dealing with a man herself. So let's let's play some more. Or you can kind of keep your family together. Okay, that's my opinion on that. But hey, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and roll the clip. Let's take a look. I just told him that. I want to get a divorce. And I know this was the best decision. That's what I both of us. perfect example of selfishness man <laughs> you you worried about it, it, it's not it, it, she didn't even say that the guy done nothing wrong she's a stay-at-home mom she don't have to get up and go anywhere she's just taking care of the children she's obviously sitting in a vehicle that she's definitely not paying for everything is it has to be handled it's not she's looking like her hair is nice you know if she's not going nowhere anywhere to work then obviously he's taking care of her He's handling the bills. He's taking care of the home. You know what I'm saying? So why in the fuck would you up and leave talking about I love my, my kids? I just don't want my kids to be hurt because I know they love their daddy. You know the kids love their daddy. You know what I'm saying? You just, you busting up for nothing, basically. This shit is retarded, man. But this is America for you. Because I know they love their dad. I have faith that it's going to work out. And... Everybody, including my kids, are gonna be so happy. <laughs> and whoever, Stupid, man. whoever decides they wanna spend the rest of their life with me and, and treat me with respect and loyalty. So she's straight talking about adultery right here. Whoever uh, feels as if they want it, nobody really gonna look, man. I gotta just be honest, man. Let's be just be honest here. Now you got some dudes out here, man. If you super, you know, you you know, you you may have five kids, hell, but you you still got it, you know. But Jake, they so damn simple. They'll take a chick like that. They'll deal with a chick with three kids that divorced her husband. Like, well, why did you divorce him? And she don't even have a good ass excuse. But they'll still deal, you know. They'll they'll take care of a um a, a woman like that if she's you know, pretty much um you know got an okay look to her still you know her body is okay you know she may have a little tummy because jake don't care not don't care about nothing but ass you know she got a nice fat ass that's all uh, uh jake really be caring about you know what i'm saying but anyway let's play some more <laughs> that, they gonna love my kids and my kids gonna love them too <laughs> but i'm just that's silly, man. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know, like, <laughs> what my next move should be. <laughs> See, this is how women be thinking. You don't know what your next move is. You don't have no finances. You don't have no job. You, you don't know what your next move is going to be. But you do know that you want to divorce him and leave. Crazy, bro. You're going to take the kid. It's just fucking silly, man. I don't know, like, how I'm going to make 
money and like how I'm gonna do this on my own, but I know I have a strong <clears throat> and I have a strong support system and I know everyone who loves me is gonna support my decision. <laughs> See that's the thing too. That's a thing too. This is, you know, this is what you know when the scriptures talks about basically sin. It pretty much takes over. You know what I'm saying? Because now, by her ready to leave her husband, right? She's talking about a support system. Who's the support system she's talking about? Her mom, her dad, her little friends that's around her, probably talking shit in her ear. Her brothers, her sisters, everybody got to not kick in and take care of your silly ass. Everybody got to take out of their funds. Everybody got to, somebody got to make some room for you to come live. Get all out of their comfort zone because you don't want to stay at the house with your husband. You don't want to stay there for the sake of your family. Seven years? This shit is retarded, bro. You can't make this stuff up. Let's play some more. And again, this is why I say too, man, you know, be circumspect about, you know, when people do stuff like that, you got to ask, okay, well, what happened? Oh, okay, straight. Or, or so, or, you know, you want to know some details, man, before you get to putting your life on the line and changing your life up and doing all these different things for people that's making dumbass decisions. Let them, let them go ahead and they made the decision. They, they, they made the bed, let them sleep in it. But see, people get involved in these types of things. So now what you're doing is you're, Overall, her support system is going to be supporting her in sin. That's pretty much what it is, man. Anyway. But I'm ready to finally let go. I'm finally ready to heal. And I'm, I'm just... I'm ready to get back to myself. I'm ready to put myself first and find my happiness. There you have it. That's all it is about. That's all it is about. You got a husband. You got kids. That shit, you, you, you is all over with. That old, you know, I want to, you know, you know, live my old teenage years all over again. That shit is a wrap. You know? That shit's done, man. You supposed to be all about family now. Anyway. I find my purpose in life. Because I still struggle with trying to understand why what I was put down here on earth for. Because I know it wasn't just to be a wife and a mom. Like, I, I have so much I can offer to the world. And I just want to See this shit? <laughs> You got so much you can offer to the world. Well, why not offer being a good mother to some children and raising some great citizens? What about that, man? To... <clears throat> How dare he want me to stay at home with the kids? <laughs> okay, so this guy, he's, he's he's done a pretty decent job on his commentary with it. Well, I want to just, um, you know, I want to I wanna just, let's ease on into it a little bit more. Let me see here where we at here, because I want to, you know, the part where she's talking about, uh, uh, I don't know, a uh, uh, God is with her for this decision. Some crazy shit she was saying. Anyway, sixty hours a week competing with, um, you know, people in the workforce, and it seems like she is pretty much gonna throw away a marriage to be a modern woman. That's yeah. what it sounds like. That's it. Okay, because she's basically saying, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this lifestyle. I'm tired of staying home with the children. And, um, you know, she's mentioning how she doesn't feel like she's happy. Right? There's no happiness there. And my response to that is, marriage is not about happiness. Yeah. It, huh. Anyway, let's, let's move a little. Long months, a bad year. I want to move on into it to see some more that she says. Into the marriage. It's lucky. <laughs> I just want to be a better person. So you leaving your family is going to make you a better person. I want God to work on me and build me to be the best wife I can be for my next husband because... Are you hearing this shit? She wants the Lord to build her up to be the best that she can be for not her husband that she's with, but for her next husband. You cannot make this shit up. So let me, Salaki, I know um, 
I've been kind of just letting this play for a second. Um, let me see. Slakia. So okay, so let's get this one in 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. But the point that I wanted to make is the adulterer, because that's exactly what she's about to become. She's talking about the Lord blessing her to be the type of woman that he wants her to be for her next husband. You know who she's going to be given to? A wicked nigga, man, because she's a wicked woman. Scripture talks about that. A wicked nigga end up with this 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 wicked woman, man. It was another one I wanted to get as well. Slocky Khan. It's Romans 7 and 2. For the woman. Let me matter of fact, let me go. Let me see. Verse 1. Romans 7 and 1. Let me start there. It says, Know ye not, brethren, for I speak to them that know the law. How that the law have dominion over a man as long as they as long as he liveth. For the woman which hath an husband is bound by the law to her husband so long as he liveth. But if the husband is dead, she is loose from the law of her husband. So then, if while her husband liveth, she be married to another man, she shall be called an adulteress. But if her husband be dead, she is free from that law, so that she is no adulteress, though she be married to another man. So guess what? Anybody else that she marries, she's going to be an adulterer and he's going to be an adulterer. And you know what? Um, a lot of, um, you know, the scriptures talks about how our, our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. The average person to deal with her and won't even know that and, and, and can get destroyed. Now, don't get me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Technically, we're all adulterers. When it comes straight down to it, because, you know, um, unless you're dealing with a virgin, you, you, you're an adulterer, man. If you're sleeping with a woman that's slept with somebody else, you're an adulterer. It don't make no difference. You know what I'm saying? And that's why we pray to you. How about Shemi Awasha for mercy, man? Mercy upon us, man. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, adultery is something that, you know, that, hey, that's a law, um, 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 you know, that, that's unto death. As a matter of fact, um, IUIC, the camp IUIC that wear the purple and um, gold, if you know who I'm talking about, you know, they had a situation with, you know, some congregants, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, some brother sleeping with, you know, his 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 other brother's wife and all this crazy shit, man. That shit is punishable unto death, man. But see, this the shit she talking about is just silly. It's not like he like he whooping my ass. He doing this man going to work and he's taking care of the bills and taking care of everything. You don't have to go anywhere. You just taking care of the children. But she wants that American westernized life, man. And that's all that it is. Let's play a little more. Be the best wife I can be for my next husband because that's stupid as hell. I know I'm gonna be someone else's wife. Incredible. And I know I'm gonna have more children. Incredible. And I know I'm gonna be so much happier a year from today. I just want to thank God for finally giving me the strength to walk away. Like That was the point that I wanted to get right there. She wants to thank God for giving her the strength to walk away from her husband and children. You can't make this shit up. She's a fucking Christian. This is where you get white Jesus Christianity from right here, man. This is white Jesus Christianity right here. I mean, come on, bro. You why even involve the Lord in that? You are here and, and just mentioning the Lord, like uh, obviously, because you know a lot of Christians they don't know the scriptures, they don't know no better. But I'm pretty certain that she knows that she's not supposed to be leaving her husband like that. I'm I'm pretty certain of that. She, you know, um, you know, Christians they'll, you know, kind of override certain things. You know, it's just kind of like they'll put that that blocker on it. Like you know what? They, in the back of their mind, they really know what's going on, but it's like they'll just block it to try and save face, man, to make themselves, you know, um, um, feel good about the stupid ass decisions that they make. So anyway, now let me see here. I wanted to go for it. I ain't got to listen to her. All them crocodile tears and shit. Now I wanted to go. Here she go in the future right here. Right. This is, I think, 
maybe two years or so later or whenever it was. A year later or so, let's see. Do you know the horse tonic ah, that makes the tool Lock increase here. in size? Having a small Lock number here. is not well, the result want to of show your you I keep getting like messages and comments on that video that I posted about me selling my ex-husband I wanted to divorce. And I get a lot of comments on there, negative, a lot of negative comments from men. Um, and I just want to address. And you can clearly see she looks different. You know what I'm saying? Her hair is a little longer, of course. I ain't talking about that type of different. She looks a little bit more like, you know, a little darkness. It's darkness on her. She looked a lot more humble in the other one. Or I would, you know, say, you know, she, she, you could definitely tell she's different. You know, this is a different, she got that, that look of, I'm out here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it, it, it don't look like that, that other look that she had in the first one. But anyway, let's play some more a few things first i want to address the comments that be like you're used goods nobody's gonna want you with three kids and you are used goods you are used goods you just spit out three children that that thing through you know you i mean not to say it like that i mean you were meant to be with the man that you had those kids with that's your that was your husband and really, in reality, like I said, again, you know, um, you, you got some simps. She's not, you know, she, she's not a, a bad looking lady, you know, but she's not that, that, that maybe if she, I don't know, she may have a body or something possibly, but dudes generally, even if they're with you and with their kids, it's kind of a, a front, man. It's, a, it's really a facade. Jake don't be really wanting to deal with no women with no kids like that, man. They, they just there. If you are taking care of the bills, you got a place for that nigga to lay his head up at. You got a place for this nigga to play PlayStation and call his homeboys over and have his drinks and smoke his blunts and shit. Oh, yeah, he'll deal with you because he's really just about, you know, your Section 8 that you might be getting. But to take you seriously in these days and times? No, Jake not with that, man. You are playing yourself to even think so. But Jake know how to run that game on these chicks, you know, and they just dare to just pound you down. They don't give a fuck about your kids. She talking about, I know I'm going to have more kids. Yeah, hell out of here, man. Not to say that it don't happen, because it can. And, 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 you know, I came across a, a, a chick uh, yesterday. At the, um, I went to the auto parts spot. I was looking for some fuses. And, you know, she was, she, she was a cute lady in the face, you know what I'm saying? But her hands was, was rough, of course, because she's working in auto parts, of course, you know, but... Anyway, she had like these big, huge cuts and shit in her finger. I'm like, damn, you know, you, you know, your shit all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, you know, she ended up talking about how her kids was at her job fighting at the damn auto spark part place. Man, like, huh? She telling me this shit and I'm looking like, man, just go ahead and ring my shit up. That's so I get, huh? She like, yeah, and I got twins and I got, you know, and it, this, 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 and this. I got five kids and this, you know, all these, uh, a couple of baby daddies. I'm like, man, look, too much information. I ain't want to know all that. You know what I'm saying? Just let me go ahead and get my views <laughs> and get the fuck out of here. But she was 35. She had five kids, and but they was all about different dads from what she said. You know what I'm saying? But that, that was, the, you know, because she looked like a teenager. I'm not going to even front. I was like, well, damn shit. You know, when she told me about she had, um, uh, I think, a 17-year-old or some crazy shit, I'm like, well, shit, yeah, you was getting it in early, early. I'm like, well, shit, no, you don't even look that old. Well, she didn't. Nah, I ain't gonna even front. She didn't look that old at all. She looked like a fucking kid, basically, to me. You know, but I'm like, you know, all right, well, shit, you know, let me, all right, well, have a good day, whatever, whatever. Uh, uh, <laughs> but it just, you know, it, it, it just hit me like, damn, damn, 35 with five kids, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit. Who dealing with that, bro? Nobody wants to deal with that. I know a chick. It's a chick at my job, like that. You know, who wants to deal with that? And I know that the, the, the you know the chick at my job. She, I can kind of tell she be trying to hit on me and shit like that. But I'm like, nah, you got too much going on. I'm not trying to deal with you, five kids and a couple of baby daddies. The fuck out of here, man. I don't want nothing to do with nothing like that. So it would be hard. You know, in these days and times for men to really take stuff like that serious. And then for you to actually have another man around your husband's children is just ugh, yucky, man. I mean, because so many things be happening, man. Anyway, let's play some more. Is no man is going to want to take care of another man's kid. Like, that doesn't offend me. If I had a dollar for every time a man, because it's always men, a man has told me that. I will be able to buy. 
Well, if men are the ones that's telling you that, then you should be taking it serious because it's a man that you're looking for. See, she acting like niggas is hating. <laughs> no, they overall, they're telling you some truth. Don't get me wrong. Like I said, it's dudes that deal with women like that all the time, but it's not something that they want to do. If a man can start a fresh family, he's going to start a fresh family over being with a woman that has multiple children, man, by, you know, another guy or whatever. Because you, because now you got to deal with this man, too. You really do. You have to deal with this man, too. He ain't going to just be dealing with you and your kids. He's going to have to deal with your ex-husband. Come on, bro. I, me and my kids are house cash. For real, like... When you're looking at the single dating market, are men looking for women that are divorced with three children? Right? I mean, are men... I mean, come on, bro. Anyway, you could kind of... Like I said, this is a totally different picture of the woman that you've just seen in the first part of the video. You can clearly see she done got a taste of that world. And, you know, it just is what it is, man. I mean, she, she, she's, she's done now. She's through. She should have just stayed humble, stayed shame faced it, and stayed with her husband and raised their children. And that's why the scripture goes off into telling, um, you know, the women how to really raise, um, 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 you know, um, the younger women as to how to um, please their husband, so to speak, or to, you know, just how to rear the household, man. Let me see if I can find that Salakia. Okay, Con Titus chapter two. Let's get. Uh, let me start at verse three. It says the aged women, likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, not false accusers, not given to much wine, teachers of good things, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children, to be discreet, chastity, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of Yahweh be not blasphemed. See, and what did she say? You know, she basically like the Lord is going to make her better person for her next husband. Crazy, bro. But we don't have this anymore. We don't have this in this world anymore. You know what I'm saying? You got uh, uh, the older women, man. Shit, the older women wilder than these younger ones. Shit, damn near hell. I mean, they'll show up at a, 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 a sexy red concert right along with their damn granddaughter. And be bouncing that ass, man. <laughs> so this place is through, man. It, it really is a, a sad state that we're in as a people. You know what I'm saying? And, and it just is what it is, man. And, you know, we're just praying for the hastening of our Lord to come, man, so we can get the hell out of here. So we can go back to righteousness, man. Real righteousness. Our women are going to love just being with their one husband. And they're going to love him having multiple women. Multiple wives, man. Anyway. With three children. Right? I mean, are men looking for that? Is is that in high demand? Because I know I'm a wife. I know I'm going to be get married again. So that's first. The next thing I want to address is um, the comments talking about I should have stayed with my husband or I should have, I need to think about it. I need to stay. First of all, that video was in... March of 2022. So over two years ago, I made that video. Ain't no reconciling. Ain't no getting back together. Divorce been final since February of last year. Like, ain't no going back. We're done. I'm happy. He happy. So it's a no for that one. Um, And then this comment right here, a lot of people will tell you that you made the right decision, but I can tell you straight, you're going to regret it. This you're going to regret it. This, no one will tell you. They are pretending to be happy. Be wise. Be different. Uh, like I said, no regrets. The divorce been final since last year. We've been separated for over two years. Like, it's no going back. I think he in a whole new relationship anyways. Oh, I ain't no going back. And yeah, if he's in a new relationship, you know you can't go back anyway. That nigga not dealing with you. You know what I'm saying? Unless he's just a super duper simp. You gave absolutely no excuses as to why you even wanted to um the divorce other than you just wanted to go out here and find yourself again. I, well, I miss my my old life, so to speak. You know, like, bitch, you I'm, I'm so lucky, man. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Ain't no going back. Like, I don't know what to tell you. Um, What else did I 
I want to address. Okay, so I'm getting a lot of women um, asking me, like, how do I... They asking me for help to leave their marriage or whatever. Um, Let's see. There you go. There you go, man. So they taking your cue. Because if she's going to do even what she done, why would she even do a video about it? You sitting here boo-hooing, crying on TV for everybody to see. Now these people are asking you, well, how can I leave my husband causing some more chicks to do um, commit adultery? Crazy, bro. The Lord is about to judge this place, man. Honestly, if you got to ask me, then you got your answer right there. Like, if you got to ask a stranger what you need to do or if you should leave your husband... That should be your answer right there. Um, I can only tell you what I did and how I got through it and, and still getting through it because co-parenting is hard. Um, but when I made that video, I was fully financially dependent on him. Um, me and the kids were actually living with my brother at the time we were sharing a king size bed See, there you go now your brother gotta take up the slack for you being stupid as hell instead of him playing uncle now he's playing goddamn daddy pretty much overall see that that's what i was saying about you know people doing silly shit and then they want to fall back on you with the silliness i know people like that i know people that's going through shit man that you know what i'm saying where and it can be for years. A person just got pissed, made a decision, and now everybody's affected and shit by their decision. Everybody got to drop everything that they're doing to help your ass out because you made a dumbass decision. Right? Um, yeah, so we were living with my brother and sister-in-law at the time in South Carolina. See? You living with your brother and your sister-in-law causing stress to their home see and even though they may not have said anything or whatever whatever the case may be don't nobody want your ass popping up with all the kids man now you all of a sudden you living with us because you want to because you want to do you that shit is silly bro anyway um when i told him i wanted the divorce so i literally had to start all the way over I had to, since I was depending on him, I wasn't working. I was a stay-at-home mom at the time. I had to apply for jobs, um, and I got a job in Arizona. So I moved all of our, not all of our stuff. We literally only had our clothes. Uh, we moved all of our stuff from South Carolina to Arizona. Um, six months into me living in Arizona, I got fired from my job that I moved for. Um, so then I had to move back. I had to move home to where my family and support is. So I'm back in Ohio. So since last year. There you go. With that family and support. Hey, family is there. Family's supposed to be there. Nothing wrong with family being there. But you shouldn't place your family in a position like that because you stupid as fuck. The shit that you're doing is dumb. Everybody is going through some bullshit dealing with you. That shit is retarded, bro. It really is. February of last year, we've been living in Ohio. It's crazy how you wanted to divorce him. And there you go, man. I mean, yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to get out of it. So two years later, you're not on your feet. Two years later, you're with your you're 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 leaning on your family members when you was a stay-at-home mom. You was being taken care of. You was being looked after. It wasn't like, you know what I'm saying, she was in a video looking like she had lumps on her damn head or she had black eyes or nothing. She 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 appeared to be well-maintained. You know, her hair was done. You know, it was a little cute, little braids or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, obviously, he's giving you money to do those things since you're saying that you didn't have a job or income. And, again, she was sitting in a vehicle. So, obviously, he's taking care of things like that, the insurance, you know. And it, 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 it's, you know, it, it's crazy, bro. The shit is through. I can see why now, you know, the apostles, just you know, the things that they be telling us and be saying to us, man, in America, 
to be married in America is is just as a man. It's no it's no rewards to that, man. Not not here. You know, we'll see those things in the future, man. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we're, you know, I guess as Isaiah 4 and 1 come through, <laughs> you know, with those seven women. Because, see, this this chick right here, she's going to wish that she had that man. There's going to come a time. And I'm sure she done had some breakdowns. She on here all smiling, cheesing, and laughing in there, you know. Because well, it's all over. I can't. Uh, he already he probably already with you. Damn right he probably with somebody. Probably happy as shit, too. Cause it's a woman, it's plenty of women out here. They like they're looking at you, this bitch, bitch. You crazy? Why would you leave something like that? You're being fully taken care of. Why would you leave something like that? And you got family. This is the thing. But this is the American system, man. This is the world that we're living in that they call America, Westernization, and this is the democracy that they push throughout the world. And this is the reason why a lot of those Eastern countries they don't want anything to do with America because they understand. Through America's democracy, it tears down families. It creates drug heads. It creates um, shooters, school shooters and shit. It creates um, a bunch of chaos, out of orderness. Because that's out of order. And America is the only place that you can really get away. Well, I guess there's other European countries as well. But America is, is you know, they go hardcore with um, giving, you know, the woman that right to just fuck up everything. And can take half your shit. Matter of fact, if not half your shit, all your shit. And if she filed for the divorce, then hopefully wherever she says South Carolina, I'm not sure how that goes. But shit, if she filed for the divorce, then he shouldn't have to pay no damn child support. She should be paying him. He should have got full custody of his children and had her ass pay child support. And then she would have really seen what life is like. <laughs> Straight up, man. Just is what it is. So I just wanted to touch on this for a hot sec, man. Pray that the lesson was edifying with that. Quam your solo.